let's do this. How's it going, everybody? This is Dunkle Dylan here, aka Dylan Breeden, and today we are doing one shot of What If Deku Was Mirako's Brother? Friday the 13th edition. Yes, you heard me right. One shot. I'm going to try my best to make a one shot video because, due to my, well, number one, me lacking in pretty much imagination in some of the what ifs, and also because I'm just going to try this out. Oh. And in case you're wondering, it's Friday the 13th, meaning Izuku in this one is going to be Jason Voorhees. However, it's a similar one like in the original, what a deck was Jason. However, this is in the 70s, meaning they be wearing all the weird ass 70s. 70... And he's shit. Pretty much, sex was very popular back then. Horny women, you know the usual. For those who are who are somehow still alive and was born in the 70s, I am not trying to sound racist because as I am just going through the movie. Now, pretty much, we don't even start off with Inko in this one because in this one, Ink. Well, actually, it's not really Friday the 13th edition. It's more of, of a pretty much just for. Pretty much a glow up edition. That's pretty much what it is. It's pretty much a glow up AU, AU in this one. However, in this one, Izuku is a bad guy in this one for now. Well, until we get further in the story. Like I said, it is similar in Jason Voorhees, the original. What a Deku was Jason AU. Who the only difference is he is not immortal and pretty much he is very undead. And how he got his powers is actually through a curse from, um, let's just say, he, he's pretty much banished from death is the best way of saying it. Sort of like Talion from, Re, sort of like Talion from Shadow of War. The only difference is Tal, the only difference is, uh, he does not have the wraith in him. He is just a zombie. He, however, his skin does not rot like in usual. And in this one, for once, it's actually a straight AU. Because a lot of you have been asking me to do a straight AU, which I rarely do. Who I know. Oh, but do not worry, for once I'm actually doing a straight AU. Of whom, you're gonna find out. Now, we actually start... In this one, Miriko is actually the kind, loving sister. Her, who is not like the other girls. She does not flirt with anyone, nor does she try to get any males. Izuku in this one was actually a nerd. Like, he was into that D&D, &D, while his sister is actually was a Tom girl. Mostly boxing, wrestling, that type of stuff. The usual. Sure. But that all changed when Izuku was founded Quirkless. His sister still gave a shit about him, but his mother did not. Because in this world, Quirkless were very important. I mean, quirks were very important to be popular. And popularity was everything. However, his mother did not completely neglect him, but nor did he bully him. She still loves him, it's just that she is not happy, but she still cares for him. I'm not gonna make him go an abusive one in this one. So she tries, so she accepts that her son is corkless and be happy that she has kids. It took her some time to be happy about it, but uh, she finally got more happier, realizing her. Her brother, that her son is actually happy. Yeah, Inko does not die, does not become as murdering psychopath in this one actually, because she still has Miriko. Now Miriko actually, and Izuku's disappearance, quote unquote. Yes, I say quote unquote. Oat. He pretty Miriko became the number five hero to be going on the more dangerous missions. Now everything happens like in canon. Same with Friday the 13th. However, in this one, Izuku is still in his 20s, and he's not even ugly in this one. He's like the original old softy Izuku. Miriko is also in her 20s, while Inko, I'm going to say, is in her 30s, I'm going to say. Hey. Hey. No, she, yeah, she's going to be, she's like 35. Yeah, 35 in this one. One. She is 35. Now, in this one, Izuku is pretty much just have, is pretty much doing his usual thing, going on a murdering rampage. Now, he doesn't kill because his mother or told him to. Not in this one, no. In this one, Izuku actually kills because it is, it is pretty much fun for him. 
And when I mean glow up, I mean to fragile little skinny boy, pretty much a thin boy, to buff an intimidating monster. Or is the best way of saying this. Now, in this one, now we go back to Amirico, who was with All Might. Now, All Might look has an afro. Don't ask me why. I know that's not that's more in the 60s and not in the 70s. He's always in the 90s. I don't remember. Bert, I think it was in the 90s. I don't remember. You know what? Yeah, let's say it's in the 90s. I don't know if it was in the 80s or 90s. I don't remember. Comment down below if you know, if the Afro thing, and you know. But in this one, All Might is actually black in this one. Endeavor, it is actually the normal everyday Asian. He's not grumpy, though. Oh, he's more of the kind soul, while oh, All Might is more like, like the grumpy man who does not give a shit about anything. Miracle is actually black as well. Oh, but Izuku was born white. He was more on his mom's side, while Miracle was more on the father, or Hasashi Midoriya. Yeah. Now, pretty much here are the five heroes that actually went there. They're All Might, Endeavor, or Miracle, oh, Mount Lady, and Midnight. Alright, those are the five people that are going on this mission to Camp Crystal Lake. Now we start off with them, actually. Alright. Alright, everyone. Let's try to be careful. What? You scared of some man in a hockey mask, Endeavor? This is Jason Voorhees we're talking about. I'm not taking any chances. This guy's kill count is legendary. Right? He is the world's number one murderer for a reason. Can't be that hard to take down. And by the way, in this one, Miracle is actually cold. Ever since Izuku's disappearance, she's been cold and, and pretty much distant. She doesn't even talk that much. And, don't, and when she does talk, it's mostly extremely rare yeah, for some cases. So in this one, Miracle is just being a blank and pretty much quiet girl. Girl. Which they all feel pity. Hey, all Might is actually not a bad guy in this one. He's just tough. Uh, he acts all tough, uh, but he cares about people. Well, in a way. He just doesn't know how to show it is the best way of saying it. Now, pretty much they investigate the area. Yeah. M yeah. Midnight pretty much looks around while Mount Lady, I think I put her there, is pretty much checking out the woods using her height. All, right. All my premise checks the cabins while Endeavor goes further in the woods with Miracle. Oh. Now they don't find anything until they come across a dead body. Obviously, Jason's work. Damn. Oh. This is one way to make sure that no one survives. Damn. You, you, you think this is Jason's work? Yeah, this is Jason's. Who else would kill someone with a sleeping bag? Hmm. Let's continue. Yeah. Are you actually scared, Om? Endeavor? Yes, I'm scared. This is Jason Voorhees we're talking about. We're in Camp Blood. And pretty much this is when Miracle just stays quiet for the rest of the trip. Until they come across another corpse. But this one is fresh. Like, there's not even flies near it yet. This body is still fresh. Bird. Jason, if Jason did this, he's not far. But in pretty much they check the woods, and they don't see anyone. Not yet. And anyway, this one they go further in... But they don't find anything except this weird old cottage. Endeavor tries to go forward until Miracle stops him. This is when, J this is when Jason Voorhees comes out and pretty much just starts walking. Hey. But Miracle notices something weird about Jason. Jason's hair is green in this one, and it's not as, well, gray as the others. In fact, it is quite the opposite of gray. It is actually pretty much the happy version of a pale. Pale. So meaning he's not undead. Yeah. So he hasn't gone through all the Jason things. Meaning, well actually he somewhat did. 
Hey, the only thing he has like, gone through is the explosion thing. That's the only thing he has not gone through. Jason grew hell. Or, and he has been through Jason Goes Space, but that one was like a fucking backward time loop, and he came back like, what the fuck just happened? Big moment. And, and pretty much is when Izuku Go, aka Jason, starts walking to the camp and spies on them until he pretty much hears Heat Wave and pretty much sees a fireball coming near him. Now, Izuku takes it and is unfazed by it. Yeah. Now he just looks at where Endeavor is like, and this is when you just hear Endeavor say, Nah, shit. I'm dead. Izuku starts walking towards Endeavor for like a pretty much a grump, but ready to kill. Oh, until he is stopped by... I... Well, what's the best way of saying it? He stops off as soon as, as he sees Miracle. Now, pretty much he does not harm Miracle, but they do do like a quiet three minute long stare. Er, until Izuku Go just looks at him with pure or shock. But this is when Miraco go well pretty much just punches her punches Izuku, which hits the mask off. When he faces him when Izuku faces Miraco, she is pretty much now holding her mouth, tears down, and pretty much now on her knees, realizing that she just punched her brother. Endeavor's looking at this and realize, oh shit, that's Izuku. This one he exchanges his hand and pretty much says, Need a help, sister? She pretty much gets lifted up, but this is when pretty much she hugs him and pretty much just starts tearing down. Oh. What? Were you expecting a fight or something? Nah, nah, nah. Ah, not even close. Now, Izuku's pretty much just now started walking, but he's still wearing a hockey mask. Now, the others start have found him, but they get into a fighting stance, realizing that Miracle is crying for the first time, which shocks them all. Endeavor is just, like, don't. don't. Just, just don't. They're like, why? What happened? Um, that's Miracle's sibling. Jason Voorhees. Miracle's sibling? You're joking. I'm not All Might. That, that, that's his sibling. Well, yeah. That's his sibling. This is when they see the resemblance. And mind you, Miracle's hair is green in this one. Uh, wow. I was not expecting that. Um, you okay? Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. Now, this is pretty much when Izuku, who is walking with him, and pretty much just... Uh, sitting down with, with his sister, who is still crying to this day. Who is still crying, by the way. Now, Izuku is pretty much interrogated for all the crimes he has done, and he pretty much stays truthful. All Might doesn't even blame them because he knows that quirkless people are treated like shit and he hates the idea. Yeah. 
Miracle and Midnight don't even blame him. Endeavor doesn't even close to blame him because he knows what it's like to be weak. That's why he cares about the Quirkless more than he cares about the Quirks. He just wishes that his son was a bet was no, was the same, but instead he's a tyrant bastard. Bird. Miracle is still sleep is pretty much now just fast asleep on Izuku. Who, who Izuku robs her hair. Anyway, maybe we should contact your mother. Sure, I bet she'll be happy to see you. What are you gonna do to me? Imprison me again? Again? What are you talking about? We never imprisoned you. Pretty much he explains the Jason X incident. And this is when he's All Might just clinches his fist, realizing that Izuku went through all that bullshit, and Eva went through all that and been trapped in New York one time. Well, you don't have to worry about that here. here. We actually have a villain rehab, re, villain rehab program. Huh. From villain to hero. That was the last thing I would expect. What did you need? Need? Nothing. It's just... We don't blame you, but we wish you didn't kill them. I mean, bully... I mean, fight... Ending bullies with killing, you become the monster. I mean, don't get us wrong. We don't blame you for killing them. We're not saying... We're not saying that we don't who blame you, but still. So what happened? So, villain rehabilitation. A real and rehab. What do I have to do? Well, actually, it's quite simple. You just join UA Academy. The catch. You can't kill. You can't, can't kill any students. And you definitely can't kill... And you definitely can't mentally abuse people. How can I mentally abuse people? Well, by, for example, releasing your bloodlust to the point where, where they won't be able to see straight. That's the best way of saying it. Hmm. I guess I could do that. Do you have any other demands? I have a couple. All right. Ask away. One, I get to stay with my siblings. Fair enough. Two, I can defend myself of if necessary. Agreeable. Three, me. I'm allowed to carry certain weapons. Depends on the weapons, young man. I'm in my 20s, thank you. Okay, sir. By the way, UA is a college. Lich, forgot to mention that in this one. A UA is a college academy. He looks at his machete. Mm, as long as you don't kill with it, we're good. And Nezu? Nezu wouldn't give a flying shit. But with you at, in UA Academy, they can sh it will show that even the most dangerous villains can and be turned on back to oh the hero of society. He gives that horrible that heroic speech until Izuku is just looking at him like, do I look like I gave a shit about the speech? Ew. Oh right, my bad. Ed, you're fine, All Might. Mm, so kind. Why would anyone, like, everyone bullied him because he was quirkless? Especially with that attitude? Woo, sheesh. Talk about personality. Anyway, um, actually, question. What did, anyway, who was the ones who bullied you? He lists the name, which is mostly Class 1A who bullied him. Oh, then you are not going to be happy. Why? The villain rehabs the most wanted are in class 1A. 
Who are the people you have named? <sighs> Apparently you have a death wish. -ish, or do you really want those students to die? As much as I want the students to die right now, they're all shocked hearing all my say that. I can't allow you to do that, unfortunately. <laughs> Why? <sighs> because it's in my because it's in the hero society that we can't kill, no matter how much of the past, no matter how much I want it to happen. And believe me, there are some play there are certain times I wish that we can kill them. Okay, can you explain them what they are now? Okay, there's Momo Rozu. Ooh, the know-it-all, thinking that she's perfect and all that. Ochako Yoraka, the spoiled bitch, thinking that money can buy everything. Everything, and I mean everything, bodies included. She's a slut. Katsuki Bakugo. Oh, still the angry Pomeranian. Probably, what was he like back then? An angry Pomeranian who calls me Deku. <sighs> Ugh, that's low. S anyway, he's he's probably still the same. Karashima, well, he's actually, actually pretty much became the same as Katsuki. He thinks he's better than everyone. Shoto Todoroki, the she pretty much became a more straightforward, thinking that male that everyone is weak com compared to her quirk. Yes, she. I meant to say she in this AU. Oh, but I meant, but unfortunately, I said he. My bad. There's Froppy. She's actually become quite quiet. Not surprising. Froppy and I were best friends. Huh. There's also Manetta, who is Momo's boyfriend. And not surprising. By force. By force. Uh. Anyone else? Toto Hakagure. She also became shy and pretty much... Uh, she became more of an emo, pretty much, Nedge goth girl. <laughs> and Juro... Juro is the happy, lolly, dolly girl, full of life and full of hope. Ina, she became a goth, pretty much wearing dark makeup, dyed her hair black, in fact. And is and everyone is afraid of her. Or, and I mean afraid, mostly because of her quirk. Also because she gave Katsuki he has scar on the left eye, so he's blind on one eye. Not surprising either. Those two never got along. I know. I, they were in school with me. Huh. Anyway. Any other questions? Um. No, that should be it. It. Well, for now, at least. Anyway, he's... Wait. We should probably get going as soon... Soon as... Well... Oh, you are ready. I have all I need. We should go. Very well, young man. To UA! The NWA Academy. Now, Nezu goes through the usual and is actually very happy for Izuku to join UA. And is actually okay with the demands. Now, Shoto Aizawa has been informed and he just sees Izuku and he is straight up horrified. Mostly because as he is, Izuku is twice his height, twice his size, twice as built. Oh, around the same build as All Might. I am pretty much looks more intimidating in him. Even All Might has to agree he is a little bit scared of him. Miriko is just happy for him to be back. But before he went to class, he visited his mother. And you know what do you expect from his mother? She was so sad that if she actually found out Izuku's alive, she immediately gave him a bear hug that actually actually made him look like he was a he was a balloon. But with his eyes popping up. Out and felt like his spine was going to be broken. Mother, I can't breathe. Oh, sorry. 
As soon as Mayor Inga looked let go, he looked like he was a crushed croissant. Aunt. How? Mm -hmm. I missed you too, Mother. And this one, he gets, gets whacked in the head with a frying pan. Ow! What was that for? What do you mean, what was that for? You were gone for three... Do you, do you know how worried we were? Sorry. Sorry? You had us worried, Izuku. I am just glad you are back. back. But please, I am begging you, do not do that again. And pretty much this is when she realized who Izuku was. She doesn't even know what to say anymore. And pretty much this is when pretty much she's not mad at Izuku, but she is disappointed that he she that he became a serial killer. But when she found out the truth, ooh, she was more angry than you than ever. Mostly at Bakugo. Mitsuki di didn't even know about the bullying. And this one, Mitsuki is actually a holly lolly happy female female. So who was actually in her twenties, the same as as cop, as same, actually no, she's in her thirties, these as well, because Inko and Mitsuki, he got gave birth to Izuku at and Bakugo in their teens. Yes, they were they were teenage age mo teen moms. Moms, and Izuku is pretty much has visitor, and pretty much they catched up. Izuku, Izuku takes off his mask and pretty much realizes she... He blushes a little bit, but remembers that she is married. Unfortunately for her. But... At the divorce, she also told him that she was getting a divorce for her husband because... As they lost their love. Which Izuku's just thinking, huh. Maybe I can ask her out then. Yes, it's a miracle meet. It's a Izuku Mitsuki one. And pretty much Izuku is pretty much just sitting down talking with her more. They got the divorce papers, and Izuku started living with me well not live with Mitsuki, but enough. The next day happens. And this is when Izuku ends up in Yue Academy. But before he could enter, Aizawa had to explain to them um, about UA. Hmm. And pretty much this is when Izuku who is now think is now pretty much Izuku like explains a lot. Talk to you a and pretty much they like explain a more. They're shocked to find out that Izuku was actually Jason Voorhees. You already know what they are. But Mi I Mira Mina just says, serves them right. They deserve to die. Ow. Izuku's thinking, holy shit, she's changed. And, and not in a good way. No one attacks her because as they're all afraid of her. Even Todoroki's horrified of her. This one Izuku walks in, and before you ask, it's only gonna be the devil's threesome, not a fucking harem. It's not gonna be a foursome, it's not gonna be a fivesome. Um, it's gonna be a threesome. Um. And pretty much Izuku walks in. And in case you're wondering the ship, it should be a giveaway. Wait by now. Izuku walks in with his hockey mask on. And everyone is horrified, realizing that Aizawa was not lying. The number one serial killer, Jason Voorhees, has joined UA Academy. Wait, Ochako and the other girls don't even try to even go near Izuku, because, one, they're horrified. In fact, Izuku sits next to Mina. 
who is smiling and just said, so, how did you kill them? Oh, that's quite simple. And he pretty much explains his his kills graphical. And Mina is just listening. One A is like horrified until All Might walked in and he just says, what the fuck did I just walk into? Huh? Oh, All Might, you're just in time. I was going to explain how I killed someone with a sleeping bag. Ooh. I suggest you keep that. <laughs> hey, Aizawa, don't you have a sleeping bag? Maybe you should be the dummy. Oh, no, 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 no. I am good. I feel like living, thank you. Aw. But I was kind of... I always did want to kill you, Aizawa. No. I'm joking. <sighs> or am I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Izuku, stop scaring. In the 1A students. No promises. Anyway, you fucking sack of shits. Yes, all my is mean to class 1A, except Izuku and Mina. No. You all disgraces, except Izuku and Mina. Now get your asses back! Get into your UA uniforms before I make you do 100 push up ups. Party! They all walk out. Ow. What about us? Oh, um, actually, so you two won't have to go through the training because I am gonna let you two catch up. Ta ta! Oh, uh, ow. What? Hey, he's all my thinking. I must let the ship sail! Wait, I see Miracle hang out with them. Oh, what devil's threesome! A ship that must sail that is worthy of kings! Kings. Ow. Uh, all my. <clears throat> what are you doing? Um, hero poses! Okay. Which way was the bathroom? Oh, right there. Thank you. <clears throat> Phew! That was close. <laughs> yeah! Mina, if you post that video, oh, I am going to hurt you. Aw, but I thought we were the innocent ones. Yeah! You are an evil, evil woman, Mina. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll only show to Izuku. Yeah! <laughs> so the big bad All Might, who, had, who is all tough enough, actually has feeling, actually has emotions. Ha ha, very funny. Yes, I have emotion. Are you going to make fun of me? No, I just think it's adorable. Ah! Adorable? Well, the number one hero is not adorable. Uh huh. Anyway, Izuku. Anyway, where did Izuku go? Oh, he asked where the bathroom is, so I pointed in a direction. Oh, okay. Until they hear a, a wall crack and pretty much someone's going out the window. They both say, who pissed off? Okay, who pissed off the slasher? And they just see Izuku holding Karashima by the neck and pretty much holding the Dinky e by the hair. By the way, Dinky is a pervert in this one. No one else. What the fuck did you all do to piss him off? We didn't do nothing. Bullshit. Think he tried to peek through the hole. Oh. Oh, and they were talking shit about Mina behind her back. Is that so? Hmm? Uh, apparently you haven't learned your lessons when I put, put acid on Bakugo's eye. Maybe putting acid on your crotches will... Oh, sweeten the deal why you should stay afraid of me. <laughs> Even all my holes is privates. Like, oh, hell no. Oh, I don't want my privates to be turned into nothing but goop. <laughs> I actually would pay good money to see that. <laughs> okay, maybe this should be your only warning. Um, Mina? Yes, all my... Nothing. I'm gonna end that way. Right? And he just walks away. And that's when Mina just starts putting ice acid on their groin and they start screaming like little girls. All Might just walking away because he does not have much that groin to happen to him. Hey, what's going on over there? Trust me. Trust me, Endeavor. You don't want to know. Oh, you want to keep your precious. Precious? What do you mean? Trust. Just, 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 just trust. Just trust me, All Might. 
Trust me, mate, just trust me, Endeavor. Please. Is Okay, okay. I'm pretty much in debt. Me and Ina got done assing thing um a certain balls. <laughs> hey, that reminds me, where's Ida? Huh? Oh, Ida didn't join you, eh? He became a banker. Hmm, where's his get banker? Eh? Oh, it's at uh the set it's called the he's it's called the Hopeful Hero. It's actually he actually named it after you. He's the Izuku Midoriya Cafe. Oh, that's sweet of him. Let's just say it was more of a ceremonial thing. His family allowed it. They didn't even blame him. Hmm. Well, he's gonna be shocked that I'm alive. Oh, he is. Is you two are close, like sibling close. <laughs> Miracle always did call him the fast, the little fasty. <laughs> Let's go pay him a visit. I'm hungry. And plus, he gave me a 50% off discount due to me being friends with him. Hmm. I wonder what discount he'll give for me. He'll probably give you for free because you're alive. Hmm. Probably. And pretty much this is when Izuku just start, starts walking to the cafe. When I get there, they just pretty much eat, eat up. They're saying, welcome to Izuku Midori, may I take your order? Hello? Hey, um... Ida? Remember me? It... It... It starts tearing out. Izuku? <laughs> Yo, what's up? Oh. And pretty much this one Izuku just gets punched in the face. I deserve that. Where were you? You know how worried I was? Was I was worried sick. I'm sorry. Uh, why are you dressed like Jason Voorhees? Well, I am Jason Voorhees. I'm part of the villain rehab program. This is a joke, right? Cause if it's a joke, I don't blame you. If it's not a joke, I don't blame you. But it's not funny. And well, um, I don't blame you. I'm not angry. Ray, you can punch me again. And he gets punched in the face. I deserve that too. Just sit down and order. You two must be hungry. I mean, actually, that would be nice. I haven't had a bagel in a while. Oh, wait. Actually, what do you serve? You just guessed it. It's technically just a bakery. Literally, we sell donuts. Mmm. Donuts. <laughs> okay, give him a donut. Not. Nah. All right, what type? Hi. Mm, fudge? Do you have any fudge donuts? We indeed we do. We call that the Midoriya. Oh yeah. We do. We call that Midoriya's hope. Huh. Alrighty then. Then give me that donut. Now, would you like one or two? Take a guess. As four it is. And pretty much he starts sitting. They start sitting down and pretty much waiting for their bakery, for food to be done. And as soon as they got done, and pretty much they. Got done eating their donuts. Pretty much they started, well, catching up. So. How long has it been since we last seen? So, Izuku, how have you been doing? Mmm. Pretty good, honestly. That's good to hear. I'm glad to hear that, uh, well, you're doing good. <laughs> That's glad to hear. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, it's just that... <sighs> A lot has happened. Are you okay? Yeah, a little. Hmm. 
And this one, Izuku is pretty much just sitting down. Um, and pretty much us just, well, I'll hear something. He turns around to see Miriko and Inko. Hey, brother. Hey, sweetie. Hey. Oh, mother. Miriko, good to see you. And you too, Mitsuki. Hi. How did the divorce go? Actually, it went pretty well. He understood, and, well, he's now taking care of Katsuki. Good riddance to that abomination of a son of yours. I couldn't agree more. <coughs> Inko, Izuku being shocked that Miriko said that Mitsuki said that in a nasty tone. They all back away from her. Uh, did I do something? No, it's just that tone was a little bit scary. Oh, I am deeply sorry. I didn't mean to. Yeah, such innocence, such cuteness. Why is she, how did she end up making that abomination? I, I'm cute? <coughs> Shit. Hey, what about me? Ow. You're cute too, Mina. <laughs> oh, this one he's either just says, Oh, for the love of God, will you three just smooch already? <laughs> You're not helping, Ida! I have to agree with Ida. Will you three just make out already? <laughs> in the bakery? Not in my bakery! Hey! <laughs> oh my goodness. This. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, I technically liked them before. I did like them, even as they were... Even if Mir Mitsuki was a teenager, I always had a crush on her. Uh, even on Mina. But, I mean, we can technically do a threesome. I mean, I don't. there's no law against dating three people, is there? No, there is not. Uh, I suppose we can share, Izuku. Devil's threesome? Oh, absolutely, sweetie. Wait, what? We have to ask you the big question. Are you still a virgin? That, that's not a question you asked in a bakery! We're close. Oh, then we're the only people in here. Okay, brother, spill the beans. Not you too! I'm actually quite curious. Really, mother? You're supposed to say the opposite. Uh, no, I'm still a virgin. That means we still have a comp we have a competition who gets to take what? Ow. Wait, what? What? Wait a minute! We only date we just started dating. Let's slow down at least a little bit. And sheesh! We're not ready to be a dad yet. And, ow, I am. No, me too. Who? Daddy. Yeah! Ah! Oh my god. I never seen these who blush so damn hard. Are these red as a tomato? You all are evil. <sighs> Why do you bully me? Hey, oh, sweetie, we're not bullying you, but you are our daddy. <clears throat> That's not helping. Bang. Bang. Stop making me blush. I feel like a bloody tomato. I am begging you. Ooh. <sighs> okay, okay. We'll stop. Okay, you fine? You okay now, Izuku? Uh, a little bit. Mm -hmm. After drinking some cocoa. Okay, I am calm now. Splendid! Now, uh, may I ask something? Yes, my little cinnamon holes? Oh, you didn't, you didn't finish on how you killed people. Ooh, even I'm curious. What the heck, Mitsuki? I thought that was... I thought you would say the opposite. True, but I'm kind of curious how you killed your bullies. Unfortunately, Class 1A still lives, and I cannot kill them. And why not? Wait, you're okay with me killing your son? What son? <coughs> um, um, should I be concerned? Or, Mitsuki, um, are you okay? Oh, I'm just fine, my sweet, adorable husband. And, yeah, we are okay, senpai. Oh. Oh, um, I, mine, uh, Japanese a little rusty. What does senpai mean again? And it means forever lover. It means that your girlfriends are a yandere. What's a yandere? Hey, oh dear. 
Ayandere is someone who's obsessed with you, like really, really obsessed with you, like pictures on the walls and everything. Um, don't worry, I don't have any of that. Although she blushes, I do have a body pillow of you. <laughs> what the heck? I was a big fan of you. I always was in love with the number one serial killer. Uh, wait, you are my biggest fan? You'd be surprised. A lot of people are a fan of you, Izuku. Oh, yeah, even I have a body pillow of you, Izuku. What the fuck? Fuck. When did I become a member of the hentai bullshit? You would be surprised. God, why have you done these such abominations to me? <laughs> hey, don't look at me. I didn't do it. What the fuck, God? Hello, Dylan. What the fuck are you doing? Wayne. Huh. I know, I know. Oh. Huh. <sighs> Anyway, I call. I'm done. I'll be leaving now. You better. Her. Sheesh. And that's when Izuku is pretty much just sitting down. I'm blushing like a tomato. And Mina is blushing as well, along with. with Mirika. With Mitsuki. Okay, okay. Let's just take this slowly. <sighs> okay, that that is a lot to take in. I know, we're sorry. No, it's fine. But let's just start our date, okay? Wait, what? Well, we're already in a cafe. What would you like to order, Mir Mitsuki? One milkshake, please. Coming right up. And for the two, three lovebirds, he brings field three milkshakes. It's on the house. Anyway, what would you two like to order? The usual? Yeah, the usual. Oh, okay. Hey. Hmm. All right, and this one Izuku is just sitting down. Hmm. <sighs> and this one Izuku is pretty much just enjoying the milkshake. You okay, you three? Yeah, I'm just glad that we can share. There you go. That's uh, good to know. Hmm. Anything else? Nope. We're done now. Hmm. <sighs> anyway. Hey. We might as well just, well, we'll start our date. You two? We'll be heading home anyway. Yep. I gotta meet my, we gotta meet our boyfriends anyway. <laughs> Overprotected brother mode on. <laughs> oh, really? And who are you two dating? Aang? Um, well, we were hoping you would ask that. Can you two come in, please? <sighs> sure thing, sweetie. Sure. And he's, he, he's, <clears throat> all might, and, uh, well, a certain another hero. Ow. Who's a fox lady? Oh, this is my girl. This is actually my girlfriend. Meet Serana. Hi. Hey, Zuku. Hello, All Might. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and this one he just picks the all my up. Wow! Oh, break her heart, break her dreams, or even hurt her in any way. I will rip your skin off 
and wear you as a new jacket. Got it? Yes, sir. Her. I, all my salutes in trembling and fear. Here, as if he just saw his general incar reincarnate into the dead. And you, fox lady. Yes? Take care of my sister, will you? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Great. And they both faint out of fear. <laughs> oh, come on, Izuku. We didn't do that to your girlfriend. And, oh, well, that's different. Right? I never met these two. I just met All Might yesterday. And I also met... And I just met your girlfriend now. Oh, be great if I didn't scare her that bad. I, uh, oh. mm. Wow, I didn't know you had an overprotective side. I just got back just to find out my siblings are dating. The incomplete strangers I don't know about. Oh, calm down, brother. Besides, she's, she's a good girl, I promise. Fine. <sighs> All right. Yeah. Ah, I'm fine. Hmm. And pretty much this is when Izuku is just laying down. Ow. On the floor, pretty much just thinking, have I really failed to be an overprotective brother? What have I done? Uh, shouldn't you be, like, going? Going where? I don't know, maybe B to Ooh, UA? It is a school night. Uh Fine. And what about you? B? Yes, you, sister. Are you going to join? Well, well what do you mean by that? She gives him the look, like she gives her Izuku gives her the look like, really? Oh, right, right, right. right. I will be joining, just not right now. Oh, brother. Okay. Wait, are you a student, or you a, or are you a, a something else? No, I'm actually a, I'm not a student of UA. I'm actually just an actual hero. Oh, okay. Anyway, is there something else you needed? Yeah. Uh, I'll be. Uh, we'll be going to class now. Okay. This is when they start going to class. That's when Izuku just walks in and sitting down. Ow. No, like nothing happened. Now, the next day happens, and Izuku is pretty much just sitting down, minding his own business, metaphorically. Until he walks in. Until he pretty much has to go to class. The class acts, as usual, happens until he says, Okay, today we are going on a field trip. Eh? We're going to the USJ. Hey, ow. Oh, he does have something stupid and gets bopped in the head by... Actually, no one says anything because they're scared of Mina. Not any Zuko. Huh, I thought you they would say something stupid. Though, with those two there, I wouldn't be surprised. 
Now this is pretty much when they tell the field trip and the etc etc. Now we get to Izuku and pretty much them on the bus. I feel bad for Mitsuki. Hmm? Why? Well, we hang out more more. It's kinda unfair for her. Hmm, yeah, that is true. It is unfair for Mitsuki. But don't worry. Tomorrow tomorrow's Saturday. We can visit her. And plus, it is spring break. It is summer break. Think as well. <clears throat> oh, yes, daddy. Yeah, oh, yes. I am going to enjoy it. Like this. <laughs> Good to know. And this one, Izuku. Who just sits down. And just continuously doing. Oing, what they look. We're usually doing. Meaning. They need to mind their own business. But until Kirishima says, Whoa! I didn't know. Oh. Wow. Oh. I didn't know you had fake villains. Wait, fake villains? We didn't have any fake villains. Eh? They both turn around and just see the real villains. Ah. Hello. Crick crusty motherfucker, you are a crusty, crusty crabs. What? <laughs> Who that crusty crabs in the villain league? Crusty crabs? That's, you know? Well, it's, wait, is crusty crabs here? Where's SpongeBob or Patrick? Yeah, I am not a crab. You know, then why are you crusty? He is hell. Where the fuck is your chapstick? You know, what the fuck is chapstick? Good. <laughs> This abomination does not know chapstick? What? I am not. Karagiri, get that Nobu! Um, sir? Get that Nobu! Oh, okay, okay. Spoiled motherfucker. What did you say? Uh, I mean, Yoshi! <laughs> what? Yoshi? This is no time to play a Super Mario Smash! Oh, I like to smash something in the skull. <laughs> what did you say? Hey, oh, nothing. <laughs> and this is when pretty much I see summons the Nomu. Ow. Ow. Angry? Ugly bird? What? Uh, ow. what the fuck just happened? And, huh? <laughs> okay. And pretty much this is when the creature attacks. And this one, Mina, it pretty much just asks, Izuku, fastball special. Okay, and pretty much he just tosses Mina, but uh, looks up and accidentally sees his pa her panties and just gets a nosebleed. <laughs> and pretty much he takes up the Nomu is taken out by Mina. Ha <laughs> ha! Izuku, what happened to you? Oh, little? Uh -huh. Who care bears? You know, care bears? She realizes and starts blushing. <laughs> you pervert! <laughs> Not my fault! I didn't mean to look up! Up? Uh, ow. What the fuck is happening? Ink. And pretty much this when Izuku is now just sitting down. Oh. Hmm. Huh. <sighs> And this one, Izuku, is pretty much just sitting down, like, okay, what the fuck just happened? The villains still attack until they hear, I am here. Oh. All I might see is this dude, this uh, Izuku with a nosebleed, eat of a bloody ocean, and pretty much the villains. What did you do to my stepson, you villains? <laughs> Wait, stepson. All might. What do you mean by stepson? Whoops. Hiko forgot to tell you, didn't she? Tell me what? <laughs> and he shows a ring. <laughs> what do you mean you're marrying my mom? <laughs> We're not mar getting married until next year. Oh, that's useful info. 
<sighs> they both look at the villains. Yup. Shall we? Thought you never asked. <laughs> this is all. Kodagiri, open up portal. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Kodagiri gives him the middle finger. Okay. But luckily, the Shigaraki man has to jump through the portal. <sighs> You're an asshole, Kodagiri. Or, you know, <sighs> but the villains get beaten up until reinforcements arrive. But they just see Izuku and All Might just kicking, getting the heroes, I mean, kicking the villains while they are on the ground, pretty much just beating them to a pulp. The heroes look at Aizawa. Don't look at me. I didn't do anything. And they were talking shit. It's uh, about what? Inko? This is when Miracle starts joining in and just kicking their butts, too. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, oh my. What are you all doing? That? Uh, oh, Mitsuki. Why, well, uh, I'm not doing anything. I think we were just, uh, beating up some villains that were trying to harm us. Oh. What are you doing here, anyway? Hey, my love. You forgot your lunch. Oh. And you forgot on our wife's, our fiancé's watch as well. <laughs> fiancé? Yes, I am dating Mi Mitsuki and Mina. Is that a problem, heroes? Nope. Uh-uh. Nope. Cool. Now, All Might, when's the wedding again? Uh, next year? December? Meow. Why next year? Because we want you three to get married before we do. <laughs> How we if we only been dating for three days? Meow. Oh, you never know. Oh, hi, caramba. What is wrong with this family? Hey, I feel like I'm been through, I'm going through hell. Ugh. Luckily, it's summer break, huh? Yep. Well, might as well enjoy the summer break. And this one, they just sit down on and pretty much just start our dating more. Now, pretty much, this is when and pretty much they get an extra month off due to, well, certain happenings, meaning... Pretty much, Izuku's also been invited to train Iz the camp. I mean, go to them to take them to Camp Blood. Okay? Eh? Hmm. You okay? Anyway, a and this one Izuku is pretty much just sitting down with the three and pretty much enjoying their movie dates. But this is the one time they walk into home and just hearing, "Oh, harder, harder, daddy." <coughs> Before you guys know, it's not Mina cheating. They all three of them walk in with Mira, with me, with yeah, Inko having sex with all of mine. And what's worse, Miriko walked in there with her girlfriend, too. Oh. Oh, oh goodness. Yes. But this is pretty much when Izuku grabs a prick. Grabs a, a weed whacker. What are you going to do with that? Get back here! Here! Now calm down, Izuku! Go there! If you kill your. I swear, if you kill your little brother's father, it's your fault! What? Um, oh, you didn't tell him, did you, All Might? No, I did not! <sighs> you got our mother pregnant? Mm -hmm. uh, I, we did use a condom the first time. <sighs> Goodbye, Kuru Wild. He prays is the god uh, that his death is quick and painless. I am not going to kill you. Thank 
you, Lord. Thank you. Oh. Wow. But you are taking responsibility. I will. I promise I'll. I promise, Izuku. Uh, since when am I afraid? Uh -huh. uh, okay. So you, how come I'm UA students are horrified at me being a general, but, but I'm afraid I'm a 20-year-old man? And though he is the slasher. <sighs> Um, Izuku, hmm? we have been dating for a couple of months. I think it's time for you to lose something. Yeah. Lose what? You're not breaking up with me, are you? No, silly. Come on. Look, where are we going? You'll see. He, and pretty much Miracle gets the same look to Usarana. Yeah. Does that mean I can go back fucking your mom? Fucking Inko? Yes, you can go back. Act. <laughs> So, is this your first time, Izuku? Um, he nods. A little bit. Uh, I've seen people do it, but... What? I, not what you're thinking. It was when I was a murderer. I didn't even know what it was back then. Oh, okay. Then we're okay with that. I'm scared of my own girlfriends. That's a first. Time for you to lose your virginity. Ow. <laughs> Well, at least I get to live, lose it by the two the most hottest women I've seen. <laughs> That's good to hear. Here? Here? I hope you have a lot of stamina. Oh, boy. <sighs> like 44 hours. Pretty much it is now 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> my hip. Oh, my hips. Izuku walks down pretty much as just doing what a doggy would do is had something in his butt. Ow, 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 ow. Pretty much he's just walking while limping. Ow, ow, ow. Damn, my hips. Mm -hmm. You okay, Izuku? No. And that's when he sees that he's uh, all my team limping. Let me guess. Has overdose... Let me guess. Cowboy on you too? Nope. Overdose of doggy style. And that's when they just see Sarana walk in, also trembling. Uh, what happened to you? Ooh. Overdone it. We just got done. Uh, you? This one all all mine and Izuku say you too, huh? Yep. Oh, you probably don't know me. I'm Serana, Mirko's girlfriend. We met, remember? Oh, you were the guy who scared me. I'm uh, sorry about that. I was just being overprotective. It's fine. Anyway. Anyway. Okay. So, um, what's your quirk anyway? Oh, it's Snow Fox. Huh? Huh, that's cool. Anyway, who wants to watch the news while... Sure. And this one, I'll just start watching the news, drinking coffee. Except Serana, she's drinking hot cocoa and just wagging her tail of happiness. Yes. Yes. While the other two are just drinking coffee and just pretty much took some painkillers at the same time. In fact, all three of them did. And pretty much they're watching the news. And also, be careful of a powerful storm that is heading your way. And let's not forget, it is also Mother's Day. A. Wait, Izuku, did you remember to wear a condom? Wah! Um. Mm -hmm. you know, really, Izuku? First time you don't wear a condom? Well, they weren't really being patient enough for me to pull on one. One? Let me guess, they just forcefully put it in there. They're, well, yep. Yep, I didn't even have a time to put one on. You know? Oh, I bet you had fun not getting pregnant. Actually, she used the... Just because she we're females doesn't mean we don't... She doesn't have toys with her. I am not going through that junk of the junk. No, I must ask. Who's Bonham? Mirako. She's your bitch? <laughs> what? Is cool? What? No offense, but I thought... Let me guess. These cute looks, looks in this fin... And this little body thought you she'd be the top one. Um, yes, no offense. True, but I'm the I'm the 
the one she calls mommy in bed. Mmm. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. Hmm. And this was this thing. This one he's in is just laying down. And Izuku is just sitting down. when the other girls, girls walk down how happy as they can ever be. You know, while the boys and the girls are just having their dick hurt while their bodies hurt. Her and was not even surprised they're still naked. And, you know, sweet, this one I got all three of them say, sweetie, can you put your clothes on? We're, in, we're at home, though. Plus, we're gonna probably see each other naked all the time. You know, touche. Hey. Me. <laughs> Izuku, All Might, and Serana just get the look of displeasure during their. They pretty much look like Frisk. Yes, they're giving Frisk his look. <laughs> What's with that look, you three? Me, you three, you all went overboard on us. We can't feel our leg. Hey, Snarl. No, you're the one. I don't see why you're making that voice. Vo that look, Serana. My butt still hurt. You know, you're the one who asked me to put your dildo sh no, inside your ass and your or pussy at the same time. <laughs> Blue as a hammer, aren't we? Me? No, though I can't. Yeah, I'm with her. How do you know? We don't have thick walls. We can literally hear you. Oh. That, that does make sense. <sighs> is that all? Is that all? Oh, yeah, that's all. Anyways, yes, this is pretty much when they sit down and pretty much just starts watching TV. Until they hear a knock on the door. I am not getting up. Come on, Izuku. I'm not wearing any pants. You're wearing your underwear. Yeah, fine. Izuku opens the door and just see he's well endeavor. Hello. Hi. What's wrong? I have bad news. And can you hold uh, Mitsuki and Miriko? Okay. What? How dare that fucking horta? Is it horta? Izuku, I'm going to butcher. Now calm down, please. I told her no. Oh, you're a good uncle. Oh, Uncle Dever. Uh huh. Just because I saved your butts. But why did you say no? One, you're his chew. He's you two's chew toy, not Toroki's. I am not their chew toy. Boy, I'm the one who dominated them in the bed. They both blush. I was and smack them in the head. It was worth it. Definitely, definitely worth it. Anywho, yeah, your kid. Yeah, that's what she tried to do. She tried to force marriage. Marriage, but it did not work. Hmm.
Hmm. Hmm. I guess. And this one is just sitting down. Yeah. This is when pretty much this is when the three months thing is over, and now Elmir goes engaged. The wedding actually happens pretty well with Izuku pretty much being a happy uncle. Oh, well, not literally an uncle yet. It, and pretty much they go pretty well. <clears throat> now, at, this is when another field trip happens. We get to camping. And pretty much they go through the camping like usual. Until Izuku came across Koda. Who sees him with a hopeful look. Hmm? Hello there. What's your name? My name's Koda. What's yours? My name's Izuku Midoriya. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Pretty much they have struck a full conversation. Hey, where's your family? They're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you have any relatives? Just the pussycats. But I wish to have a mom and dad again. Mm -hmm. I can't stand being a kid sad. Actually, hey, what if I adopted you? Really? Really? And he explains to the Pussy Cats, which they are happy for, and they give them the adoption papers. He explains to his kit, his kit, his yeah, his girlfriends, and they are happy to accept them into his their family. And so she he said, Wow, I didn't know yet. So I get two moms. That's cool. Cool. Wait. Are you expecting to have kids soon? Ah Ah <laughs> Yep, he is. You're gonna have a brother, you're gonna have well, four brothers. Wow, that's cool. Well, I wish I had a sister. <laughs> maybe one, maybe one day. But how about we take the two? How about we take this one at a time? Yes, Izuku. Go and yes, Izuku impregnated those two. But pretty much, this is when they're all enjoying the sauna together until they hear, "We're under attack!" Hmm. <sighs> And pretty much Izuku is running out and pretty much just not sees the villains fighting. Izuku goes into a fighting stance and pretty much just starts fighting the villains and taking them out one by one until he sees he's Koda and pretty with a tall muscular man. And Koda is crying. Overprotective dad senses have been activated and Izuku just starts climbing up their air like a freaking z in category. And he gets up there. You okay? That's the guy who killed my family in front of my eyes. <sighs> and you're next, kiddo. Oh. Izuku's eyes start twitching. He nastily. In fact, the only things that you hear from Izuku... Who are pretty much something... ...ing you do not want to hear. New grade A boneless. Not that. Fucking. Eh. I hate ads. I hate them so damn much. Just let me hear the theme. There we go. There we go. And Izuku, you just hear this, and he is angry. And pretty much he just starts walking towards muscular. The bloodlust overheats, He's, and pretty much he towers over him. An eye glows a bloodshot red. Muscular tries to punch him, but to no avail. Izuku holds an arm and pretty much just breaks it. 
Muscular screams in agony, but pretty much the arm comes back to normal and starts punching Jane Izuku again and again. The bloodlust has stirred his skin, and pretty much he just punches and punches and punches, but to no avail. Izuku catches one of the fists and pretty much crushes it like a little grape. He raises muscular by the throat and starts slowly suffocating him. And pretty much just starts pounding him down and breaks the muscular's legs. Muscular tries his absolute best to crawl away from Izuku. Tears, I, eyes. But Izuku grabs his legs, the nail, muscular's nails gripping the rock as the fingernails come off and he is gripping him once more. And pretty much he is now holding him on a ledge. Mercy! You want mercy? This is when Izuku just grabs his machete. Bloodlust enrages him more. Did you show mercy when you killed his family? Did you show mercy when you slayed all those innocents? All those people? You're no better than me, me slasher. True, but I know what rights and wrongs. The muscular just punishes to punch him and activates the eye. Ha! Let's see if you can beat me now! Izuku just standing there, a shadow formed around his face. All you see are the red glowing eyes. Muscular tries to punch, but Izuku slap ashes an arm off, cutting it off, off with his machete. All Muscular sees is Izuku towering before him in terror. Muscular pretty much tries, tries to make a muscle blade and pretty much slashes Izuku. All it did was just rip the shirt. And he just reveals the skin. Izuku who slashes the other arm. And this is when he just grabs his head and crushes it. Muscular has died. And there is no mercy for the people oh, that done wrong. I am very sorry I had to see that coda. No, it's fine. I actually enjoyed him dying. How about we agree we don't tell your mothers about that? Okay. And he just walks back. Oh, I see the battle went well. Yeah, it did. It. Where's mom? The he villains kidnapped her. All my went after them, along with Mirko. Hold it. All right. Show me where. They went that way. Where are you going? I'm going to help them. And pretty much this one Izuku runs. Be careful. I will. And pretty much this is when they get there. Izuku get there. To see a see their hideout. All Might is already in there beating up some villains. Izuku got in there just as time and pretty much just throws his machete to Kiragiri who was about to kill All Might. <sighs> ah. <sighs> Whew, that was close. You okay, All Might? Yeah, I'm fine. What about you, Miracle? Miracle beating up someone to a bloody pulp. Oh, I'm fine, brother. Ugh. Talk about a Tuesday. Ugh. What day is it? Tuesday? It's Friday, actually. Sheesh, talk about a Friday, huh? You're no kidding. And pretty much they just start beating him up, up even more. Now, this is when they finally take out, out the lead. 
All for one didn't stand a chance, and pretty much this is when we get to the part of pretty much Izuku at the wedding. We actually now start off with Izuku in a dress, and pretty much in a wedding co clothing, and pretty much shaking like a leaf. <laughs> Dad, at you're gonna be fine. And what if they say no? You impregnated them. You have their. You have four kids, and pretty much we're all happy for you. Yeah, Daddy. <laughs> Thanks, you two. I mean, thanks, you four. I mean, five. <laughs> Though, at least you got your wish about a girl. Isn't that right, Eri? Mm-hmm. Yep, Eri is Izuku's biological... His biological daughter. Okay. Let's do this. And pretty much they now start... Hmm. And pretty much everyone is there. Half the heroes. Izuku, the UA still think he's weak, though. Oh, well, Class 1A does, anyway. Until the bribes walk in. <laughs> do you take... Do you take this man to be your loved, wedded, loved husband? We do. And do you, Izuku Midoriya, Take these two to be your beloved wedded wives. Oh, yes, I do. I now pronounce you husband and wives. Now kiss already. <laughs> okay, all mine, okay. Hmm. <laughs> and pretty much they kiss, and pretty much the wedding goes off with a bang. Izuku and, and the three premier pretty much the first become the first ever coupled number one coupled heroes and pretty much it is going off like a bang now pretty much that's where that is the end of what if Deku was Miracle's brother one shot edition I hope you all enjoyed the one shot edition and let me know if you want me to do more like comment and subscribe to the channel this has been Dunkle Dylan here aka Dylan Breeden bye